So to be clear, um, moving on equalization may well be a possibility at the next time we renew it, which will be in four years. I, I can't prejudge that. Uh, with respect to stabilization, we've had an approach that, uh, that has meant that both Alberta and Newfoundland Labrador have been able to use that, that program over the last couple of years. That would be appropriate based on their economic situation. I think the question that Mr. Sisi put on the table is, is it significant enough? And uh, we're always willing to look at these programs to make sure that they uh, are appropriately dealing with situations as they come forward. But we have no uh, substantive discussions going on in that regard at this time. As the country changes, we'll need to think about whether that approach is, is working in the way it was intended. But I want to remind us that the way it was intended to uh, work was to ensure that Canadians who move from one province to another can get a roughly equal level of services in different parts of the country. And uh, that, is, uh, that is the intention behind that program, whereas the intention behind the stabilization program is to deal with uh, short-term uh, challenges that uh, provinces face in terms of their economy. Uh, these two programs are for different uh, intent and uh, will always remain open to talking to provinces about how we can ensure they work. We've asked for a review and I don't characterize the renewal that happened in June as a review and I think the review is important. Again, the parliamentary budget officer is the one who said there should be more money coming to the provinces from the feds. More of these services fall to us to provide to our people uh, throughout the country and so that's the, that's the avenue that I will take.